you you said something in your book and this uh i think you you said this actually in the interview too um uh but you're there dancing and you're you say i'm naked but they don't see me what what right. do you mean by that because really what the sex industry is very good at is stripping us of our humanity and reducing us to an object and so when I'm there in the club, when I was there in the club, I, I was only an object. I wasn't a person with an identity, with dreams and desires and a history, right? Like that's one of the things that I think is so powerful about story is it humanizes the woman on the other end of the dollar. And when we see the humanity in her, we see her for who she is. It becomes more difficult to objectify her. It becomes more di difficult to sexualize her or to judge her even, right? But in those, in those scenarios in the strip club, I was an object. I was not seen for who I was as a person. Um, and it's a very interesting experience to, to have that. I had that moment where it's like, I'm, I'm standing here naked and nobody sees me. Everyone's eyes are on me, but nobody actually sees me. But what is that doing to men? What is it, what is it training men to do? Well, it trains men to begin to see women in general as objects. It changes the way men view women. In fact, I believe there was a study that was done on this where as, as women, uh, I mean, I'm sorry, as men watched porn, their likelihood of seeing women as objects increases. The other thing too is like it, especially like when you look at even porn, it starts to reinforce these false beliefs that all women are just like waiting around for this like, pornographic sexual experience and that like even especially when you look at porn and the way you know um rape fantasies are acted out or even when you look at the top 50 porn movies um of all time they those top 50 movies have over 3,000 instances of violence against women so what we're seeing in porn is the documentation of sexual violence against women which then desensitizes viewers to sexual violence against women to violence and it pairs sexuality and violence, right? It desensitizes people to that. And then it starts to cause people to believe, well, that's what women like, right? So it, it really, it really um, shapes and affects the way young men and women, because now one third of visitors to porn websites are women are viewing themselves, sexuality, viewing other humans. And that's especially dangerous when you're looking at the rate the age of exposure continuing to decrease with access to porn increasing and how that's affecting the way a young mind is beginning to conceptualize sex and sexuality and relationships with other humans. It's, it's incredibly devastating.